You're doing great work. Great work. All right. Lay this up on this track over here. Cut these two studs off. Put back on. Figure out where the holes need to go on that other piece. Things will get real interesting. Looks good to me. All right. Took an hour forever to hold your piece. Looks too good. Too good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Gonna tighten that. Yeah, just so it don't come off. Dang, I didn't think those were going to be such a good fit. It's all standard inlet and outlet stuff. I don't know, see why. You know, you know, mm. Generally the same size. Okay. See if we can't get this thing kind of jammed in here to where it fits best. Gets this oil cooler. Almost use that hole right there. That would be perfect. Now we just have to get a hole for this. Probably should have brought something to mark with, you know. We're gonna be we're gonna clear the fan. Looks like it, right? Yeah. Right where my smudge is, buddy. Wherever that smudge is? Mm-hmm. See if I can't get this and make a little bit of a mark. Perfect, really. Perfect, really. Perf Take not advised for 300, Phil. Not advised? Not advised for 300. Oh my god. Nice and sharp. Nice and sharp. Little screwy driver. Like a glove. It's almost okay. like we clearance this right here. <laughs> All right, let's get the socket and tighten us down. See where we're at. Cool. Easy. Try to get you to do this forever ago. Oh. Uh, what, what are you thinking? Probably a 10. Probably a 10. I don't see a ratchet. Nope, it's not a 10, it's probably a 12. This one skips 12. Oh, oh nice. I'm sure. Why would you skip 12? Oh, it's actually not this, it's bigger than this. That's an 11. Okay. What? Not 13s. Too small? Yeah. Oh, that's 10. That's an 11. Yeah, it must be a 12, and there's no 12. That's the... Why would you skip a 12, Craftsman? Because it's Craftsman. It's crappy. It's Craftsman. I never...
effort to get the job done on just one of these. That might be the only toolkit I've ever seen that has an 11 and 13, but no 12. Here's a 12. Okay. Work. Now you brought all you brought a bunch of containers of coolant, right? Yeah. What? Yeah. Actually holds it decent right there. It's a really good start. One more bolt in the bottom will be good. Yeah, which is I just wanted to run a piece of flat metal from this hole to here. So I just thought the you might have a piece of there, your scrap pile we can nab or something. But I'd say that's a definitely a good start. Also this other bolt over here is only finger tight. It's not tight. Probably don't want to tighten it up yet, huh? Till we get this in. Completely until we figure out what we're, we're going to be doing here. That's perfect. Mm hmm. I don't know how we'll get a bolt in the bottom of this, though. With it resting on the frame. Unless you put took the bottom bolt out of the other side, lifted the whole thing up, and put the bolt and the plate in there first. Yeah. <sighs> Need some linemen? Holy cow, buddy. That's what I'm saying. You guys are living on a gold mine of lots of tools and just everything. Spend some time cleaning up the plot. Let's say you we can figure out the vibration problems. We can stuff more inner tubes or rubber in, there. rubber in there. I'd say we probably need to take the other bolt out, cut this into the kind of shape you want, run the bolt through this and into the bottom, okay. and then figure out where we need to drill our hole to run it through the frame. I'd say you're right. And then just drill run it through and bolt it down. All right. Well, uh... Be nice to just go ahead and utilize one of those. I'm, I'm with the think about hacking it like that. Yeah. Using those existing holes. Yeah. yeah. We should have checked this before we put it together. What? The... Yeah. I mean, we can pull it the rest of the way off. It's going to be a pain. It's probably going to be a pain. Yeah, it's going to be a pain. I'm going to loosen that bottom one off. Yeah. Unfinger tight this. What a crappy screwdriver. Yeah, it was garbage. You're the only one I could find. <laughs> Spot was left over here. <clears throat> Might need a screwdriver to pry that bolt out. Mm. So, oh. Yeah. Dang, you're, you're connected a lot of stuff. I was just, you know, just making sure fitment was all right. You know? Yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah, that's what I, I was making sure. There we go. Ah. Okay.
I'm gonna take the heat bringer to get a flight and some more batteries. Yeah. Um, I think it's like a standard thread, oh. a different thread. This is really close to this is the size, but just ain't it. It just won't thread in. Yeah. I've got a. Yeah, I think those are the same. Um, I guess I can go with you, and I can just look for some bolts while you do that. Yeah, I think this bolt will work. Think it will? Yep. No. Slightly warm. There's a beautiful tool over here with a drill bit on it. What do you mean? If we, if we need to elongate, I kick that close. Watch oh it. my god. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh my god, you've got some repair work to do, buddy. But yeah, I'm custom fab. You're also, this bolt this bolt's not in this hole and stuff over here, so the distance on that might be Yeah, I'm just trying to get it started so then we can see the distance. Oh my god, perfect. Is that a nut on that? Yep. Oh. Then I can yank I can take the nut and use it to adjust spacing. You know? I guess. What do you mean you guess? I guess. That's how all the fab guys do it. Uh -huh. What's that guy on YouTube? Uh, Heavy D Sparks? Yeah. That's how he does it. Oh, okay. See, now, right now rolling. the bolt's bottomed out. Okay. So now I can tighten the nut. Okay. And get what we need out of it, right? Yeah, sure. We'll that. Now, hopefully that bolt don't hit the frame because it's too long. Well, I mean, if that's too long, then. Mm-hmm. If that's too long, we'll just need to get a shorter bolt. Right. What do I do with the bolt that was in this other side here? Oh my god. Not sure, buddy. Alter. Yeah, that bolt probably is gonna hit the frame. It probably is. You in? Yep. Okay. <sighs> What's it looking like? Well, I mean, I have to drill another hole. 
mount. It's definitely going to raise up the radiator a little bit, but at this point, we're fully prepared to modify the cowl anyway. And you can see how much it raises it up, about that much. That's actually sitting on. Oh that. yeah, it's sitting on that. That's, this side's fine. And it raises it up just, I mean, just a tad, but but not really, because it's almost sitting on that. I think it's perfect. Okay, we'll just use that bolt. You don't want to cut it shorter or anything, we'll just leave it. I don't think so, right? right. Come have a look. Okay. Radiator looks pretty level. As long as the radiator is pretty level and it's good to you, right? I mean, it'll be a farm repair. I would personally probably cut that bolt shorter, but I mean, if it's not worth the hassle, we'll need a vise to cut it shorter, unfortunately. Be kind of, there's not over here. There's a vice right there on that table. I mean, just as a as a pristine repair, I would probably. You think it's that radiator sitting up too high on this side? I mean, like you said, it won't matter. We're gonna end up probably cutting the cowling a little bit. I mean, let's just see if we'll just see. If the top of the cowling follows the line of the control panel, I don't think it'll hit. Oh, I think it's gonna hit. Those are also probably not sitting mobile. True. The dozer is kind of sitting kind of crooked. Yeah, it's on these holes. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll cut a little shorter. Okay. Need about the nuts width of it cut off. Should have probably went ahead and marked that hole. Probably. Would have been smart. We, it was roughly in here, right? It was roughly right around here. Okay. Make it too big, I don't care. Leave the nut on it because when I cut it, it'll mar the threads. We'll just use the nut to unmar the threads. Okay. To the vise. To the vise. too much <laughs> oh my god bro <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, it doesn't spin as smooth as she did before, buddy. Yeah, well. I guess that doesn't need to be very tight. Just not just enough to move that. Oh. Enough to keep the radiator from vibing okay. and vibrating and that's good. And yeah, but still be able to move that. Oh my god. Holy Jesus. freaking moly. Good grief. Destroying the new radiator. Wow, buddy. His fins are already all messed up. That's China for you. Probably wasn't me, but it was China. Really? Now you didn't drop a didn't drop a washer on top of it, did you? What? This radiator. Oh no. Oh. A washer on top? Mm-hmm. Thought maybe you dropped the washer down inside it. Oh. No. I might, you want me to? No, you have to do double the work. Okay. Oh, buddy, you just gotta righty tighty. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm challenged. There we go. Yep, the humidity's back. Oh, oh stagnant mountain air. Yep, and I'll be at the soccer field in it for the next four days. <laughs> All right, what's she looking like? Did I just really screw the hole up, probably? <sighs> this is long enough. Perfect. Or was that 12? Get that 12 ratchet over there somewhere. What? Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, should we go ahead and hook up the hoses in it before we tighten this down? What are we tighten down? This uh, bolt. Uh, while they're loose, yeah, probably. Try to jam the hoses on there. While we can tilt the radiator some and everything? Yeah. <laughs> I did that earlier too.
Ball on the back? What? Ball on the back of that one? No. Nah, not really? Not, not a good amount. It doesn't help if the screwdriver is really crappy. Yeah, and I couldn't... Can't hold it and hold the pipe clamp very well. I can't see. Seems like this is the shit that always leaks for me. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm sure, probably. All right, it's pretty tight now. <clears throat> oh my God. Pretty, pretty damn sturdy. All right, tighten up the mounts. Should have brought a 12 wrench. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I learned from our lessons one day. Uh huh. I can't hold it. Maybe it's a tan on the bottom. <sighs> yeah. What do you think you need over there? Half? Probably, yeah, we can try that out. I had a 9 16th here somewhere. Where'd that 9 16th go? I had it here, been using it all day. Hmm. What the heck? Oh. Should do it. Good enough. Looks good. 
less botched than what I thought it was going to end up being. Me too. I thought we were going to be welding and hammering and... Just one, one hole and one little piece of strip of plate. We now have a modified dozer radiator. We're pretty close to the fan over there on your side with the oil cooler. I'd say once we get the cow on, we could find a way to pull this back up away a little bit. This right here, whatever this situation. Oh yeah, we could use that. You know, this whole this strip of metal situation, just run a bolt and nut through one of these holes. So right it here. can't flex back. Yeah, just to keep. That was what I was thinking about. I was like, so under. Under dozer vibrations, how much is it going to take for this to get slapped back into the fan and then the fan decide to eat the inside of the radiator? Yeah, that would suck. That's pretty okay like that. I mean, I don't know how hard of an impact you usually end up taking. But yeah, I'd still like to have something just to keep, it, sure. keep it from flexing back. Yeah, because yeah. all it takes is one instance to have a bad this, day. This radiator would be wiped out. Yeah. That's, that's aluminum, it wouldn't take much. No. I mean, if we can deal with that right now, and then tighten them over these old lines right here so nobody forgets. Yeah. And then as far as that's concerned, like, they'll pull an old line one day and... Yeah, I think we get everything buttoned up, ready to throw coolant and oil in it. And all this zip tied up somewhere where it can operate. It's probably about good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that flathead? I'll go ahead and tighten these old cooler lines because I can foresee somebody just forgetting. Mm-hmm. What? That one wasn't loose. I don't know where the pipe go pipe clamp is for that one. Uh, there's one laying in the dirt down there. Oh. <laughs> laying in the dirt. Oh, it looks still pretty golden. Not much use on it. No, we just changed it. There's one right there in the dirt. Right under, right there. It's black. See it? Oh, yep. <laughs> Dang, yeah, that trashed that, didn't it? Yeah, it looking good. All right, well, that's all connection secured. I'll bring some of them one hole straps or something over and try and figure out a way to deal with that. Yep, strap that up tight. I don't think you could ask for a better fit from a random radiator. No, probably not.
So I have any of those one hole straps in the Jeep. do that but you also don't want to keep that bend in that hose yeah <laughs> good enough for testing purposes yeah it'll be good enough to Pull it out, push some dirt, and at least make a few rounds around the track or something. Yeah. yeah. Is that that mounts the cow inside the cow? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I think it'll be fine. We ran it last year without our cow on it for some time, didn't we? I remember we were using it at some point with no cow on it. You sure? Yeah. Cause I was, I was sitting, cause I was thinking about without the cow on there, wouldn't the frame rails twist, but that was. I know we ran it with no hood on it. Yeah. But I don't remember if we ran it with no cow on it or not. Hmm. Now I wonder how much, did we lose oil when we, when we did that? I wasn't here when you guys took it off. You aren't? No. You and Brandon stripped it down. I don't remember losing oil. You don't? Well, mm -mm. maybe you didn't. It might all be in the engine. <laughs> it might only need coolant. I mean, mess with Brandon ass. Half. And I think I got another one over there at the house that's full or half, but I think it takes, I think the old one took like three of them or something. I don't know what capacity this radiator is. I don't either. Thoughts? Don't have any. I don't have any, I don't have enough coolant. Yeah. I'm gonna do wanna at least make sure the battery's on charge. Okay. And I'll go ahead and clean the stuff off of it and I guess I could pick up some coolant while I'm out tomorrow. Okay. And then next time we can fire it up and test it. Yeah. We Maybe this, this little plate, do we, should we fit this little plate here on the side before? If, yeah, probably should. Yeah. Please put the clamps on. Dang, it says it's down to 25%. Wow. Good.
Now it says 50, hopefully ain't too dead. Hmm. 